will regard yourselves as unofficial. Will regard yourselves as unofficial. Will regard yourselves as unofficial. <laughs> Please, sir, I'll give you an hour. <laughs> but nevertheless, official psychiatry has curious things in common with Western religion, as well as with Eastern. With Eastern, I said, only in so far as it has an interest in states of consciousness and inclines to regard other states of consciousness than the ordinary as sick. But it has one very important feature in common with Western religion. And that, we have to go a little bit into Western religious history and ask ourselves what in Western religion, and especially in Christianity, and this goes also for Judaism and Islam, what is the great heresy? Curiously enough, the great heresy was first in the West committed by no less a person than Jesus Christ, who believed himself to be God. This, of course, will be unquestionably true if you think of the gospel of St. John as historical value. It's a little vaguer in the synoptic article, but if you read the gospel of St. John, there is absolutely no doubt about it, for he said, I and the Father are one. He who has seen me has seen the Father. Before Abraham was, I am. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. He said all that according to this gospel. And that is something that in the Western world you are not supposed to say. Especially, you are not supposed to believe it. And actually, it was very difficult for Jesus because he was saying all this in the context of the Hebrew culture. And he tried to find language in the Hebrew scriptures with which to express his state of consciousness because he had an unusual state of consciousness. As I read it, he had cosmic consciousness, otherwise known as mystical experience, otherwise known as moksha, nirvana, bodhi, satori, vana alvana, or what you will. And that happens to people. It has happened as far as back as we know. It happens all over the world and in all cultures. We don't know very much about it. We don't really know ways in which to make it happen because it seems to be of the nature of it that it is a spontaneous surprise. But it unquestionably happens. And most people keep their mouths shut about it when it does. I had a friend who in the middle of having a stroke had this illumination. And he said to me, I fear to speak to my friends with you. But it was the most beautiful experience. I shall never be a great again. I recommend everyone to have a stroke. <laughs> this was my friend Jean Barber. But Jesus certainly had this transformation of consciousness. And he was crucified.
a little bit maybe about Greek religion, but mostly about Hebrew. There is no evidence whatsoever that he knew anything about India or China. And the, the people who think, you know, Jesus was God, assume that he must have known because he would have been on this side. No. Uh, St. Paul makes it perfectly clear in the epistle to the Philippians where Jesus renounced his divine powers so as to be man. Let this mind be you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Who being in the form of God, for not equality with God, a thing to be unknown to God, but humbled himself, made himself of no reputation, and was found in fashion as a man, and became a to death. The locals call that kenosis, which means self emptying So, obviously, an omniscient and omniscient man would not really be a man. So even if you take him very orthodox, Catholic doctrine of the nature of God, that he was both true God and true man, you must say that for true God to be united with true man, true God has to make a voluntary renunciation for the time being of all of the sins and of the hands and of the presence of that man. Now therefore, if Jesus were to come right out and say, I am the Son of God, that's like saying I'm the boss's son, or I am the boss, and everybody immediately says that is blasphemy. That is subversive. That is trying to introduce democracy into the kingdom of heaven. That is, you are the usurper of the throne. No man has seen God. Now, Jesus in his exoteric teaching, as recorded in the Synoptic Gospels, was pretty cagey about this. He didn't come right out there and say, I and the Father are one. Instead, he identified himself with the Messiah described in the second part of the prophet Isaiah. The suffering servant who was despised and rejected of men. And this man is the, the non-political Messiah, in other words. It was convenient to make that identification, even though it would get him into trouble. But to his elect, disciples, as recorded in St. John, who came right out and said, before Abraham was, I am. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. I and the Father are one, and he who has seen me has seen the Father. And there can be no mistake in that language. So the Jews found out, and they put him to death, or had him put to death. I tossed and I turned to I closed my eyes But the future burned through the planet turned A hair gray as I relived the day While you were sleeping the time changed Did you?
you had that strangest dream before you woke Cause in your gut you had the butterfly stroke Did it escape you like some half-told joke When you reached for your bloom of smoke
You will never be let down by anyone. More than you will be let down by the one you love most in the world. It's how gravity works. It's why they call it falling. It's why the truth is harder to tell. Every year you have more to lose. But you can bury your past. You will never be let down by anyone, more than you will be let down by the one you love most in the world. It's how gravity works, it's why they call it falling, it's why the truth is harder to tell. Every year you have more to lose, but you can bury your past in the garden by the tulips, water it till it is so alive, it lets you go. When you belong to yourself again, when you belong to yourself again, remember forgiveness is not a tidy grave. It is a ready loyal knight kneeling before your royal heart. Call in your royal heart. Tell it bravery can never be measured by a lack of fear. It takes guts to tremble. It takes so much tremble to love. Every first date is a fucking earthquake. Sweetheart, on our first date, I showed up. You will never be let down by anyone. You will never be let down by anyone. More than you will be let down by the one you love most in the world. It's how gravity works. It's why they call it falling. It's why the truth is harder to tell. Every year you have more to lose. But you can bury your past in the garden by the tulips. Water it till it is so alive. It lets you go. And you belong to yourself again. When you belong to yourself again, remember forgiveness. It's not a tidy grave. It is a ready loyal knight kneeling before your royal heart. Call in your royal heart. Tell it bravery can never be measured by a lack of fear. It takes guts to tremble. It takes so much tremble to love. Every first date is a fucking earthquake. Sweetheart, on our first date, I showed off all my therapy. I flaunted the couch where I finally sweat out my history. I pulled out the photo album from the last time I wore a lie to the school dance. I smiled and said, that was never my style. Look how fixed I am. Look how there's no more drywall on my fist. Look at my wrist. It's not something I have to hide, I said. Well, I was hiding it. The telephone pole still down from the storm. By our third date, I'd fix the line. I said, listen, I have a hard time. I mean, I cry as often as most people pee, and I don't shut the door behind me. I'll be up in your face screaming, Seattle is too rainy. Seattle is too rainy. I'm never going to be able to live here, I sobbed on our fourth date. I can't live here. In my body, I mean. I can't live 
in my body all the time. It feels too much. So if I ever feel far away, no, I am not gone. I am just underneath my grief, adjusting the dial on my radio faith so I can take this life with all of its love and all of its loss because I already know you are the place I'm going to finally sing without any static, meaning I'm never going to wait that extra 20 minutes to text you back. And I'm never going to play hard to get when I know your life has been hard enough already when we all know everyone's life has been hard enough already it's hard to watch this game we make of love like everyone's playing checkers with their scars saying checkmate whenever they get out without a broken heart just to be clear i don't want to get out without a broken heart i intend to leave this life so shattered there better be a thousand separate heavens for all my flying parts and none of those parts are going to be wearing the romance from the overpriced vintage rack meaning i don't want a single speed bike if i can't make it up the hill i know exactly how many gears i'm gonna need to love you well and none of them look hip at the coffee shop but they'd all have god saying good job you're finally not full of bullshit you finally met someone who's gonna flatten your kneecaps into skipping stones baby throw me throw me as far as i can go I don't want to leave this life without ever having come home. And I want to come home to you. I can figure out the rain.